Hi, my name is Maria and these are my bookshelves. This is a brand new channel. I am just starting a booktube channel and in my first video I thought it would be really really great to do the uh, booktube newbie tag. So let's jump into the questions. First question is why did you start this channel? Well, I started this channel because I just love books and reading. Probably you can see that behind me because I have all of these books. And um, I usually read in English. I am Hungarian, I am from Europe, Budapest in Hungary. And um, I read in Hungarian. Usually my reading schedule is I read one book in Hungarian, one in English. But I read a lot of books in English and I just I would just love to talk about them and um, no one around me does that kind of a reading so I thought it would be fun to just share with the internet what I'm reading and probably we can discuss my favorite topic which is books and of course my favorite books and what I thought and what you guys thought so I thought it would be a great way to share my love of reading and talking about books so yeah that's the first one okay second question of course I have my notes because I love notebooks and writing and taking notes and stationery and all of that kind of, a, of um, and all of that kind of an experience so that's why I'm looking down sometimes so number two is what are some fun and unique things you can bring to booktube well this is such an interesting question and I don't think there are you know good answers to this of course myself because I am unique because I am a person but I can say that I am from Central Eastern Europe so of course my take on things would be a lot different from you know US or UK or you know other people and of course the Hungarian books that I like I would love to share with you especially if they are translated into English I think that would be a fun thing and I've been reading a lot and for a longer time because I'm just not 22 years old anymore. <laughs> so, uh, and of course, my favorite genres, and I kind of want to explore all aspects of reading and books. You know, not just, you know, what you're reading or what you think about this, but what you think about, you know, the technology like e-readers and audiobooks. Like when you get into a reading rut that you don't want to read or, you know, lists, you know, classics, all the kind of stuff. I have just so many ideas that I want to explore. So I thought it would be a fun thing to do. So I think that's kind of, you know, my unique ideas. I feel like that would be something I could bring to book too, but I guess we'll have to see. So that's the answer. Let's move on to number three. So number three is, what are you most excited about for this channel? Well, definitely um, the community to kind of find friends and kinship with other people who just love doing the thing that I love doing the most. So kind of a, a sense of commun community and, um, you know, just, just the viewers to connect with people. That, that is something that I'm just really excited about. Yeah. Number four is why do you love reading? Um, because it's so good. <laughs> Honestly, what else can you say? But I, um, I just love the sense of, you know, entering a different world, to just leave your own world behind and then being in an alternate reality sort of a deal. Um, when you get into a really, really crazy good book and you're just kind of put it on as, as like, you know, a, an outfit of clothes, like you get into it, you get comfortable and you get transported and be a different person. I mean, and when you get into like a really good cozy story, it's just like a warm little blanket that you just, you know, climb into and then be surrounded with, um, be surrounded with all of this goodness. I just like to be, you know, transported basically. I just like the experience of being somewhere else. And I love stories, I love characters, I love you know, learning about things. And the books are just amazing. Reading is just the best, honestly. Okay, number five. What book or series got you into reading? And actually, it's good that we are here in my kind of library type of a room because I can show you the first book that I read. Let me get it. 
course not being prepared I have to get it okay I got this so this is the first book that I read it doesn't really show anything because it's just the cover but I can show you this is in Hungarian so probably most of you will not understand this but this is Kate Lotti by Eric Costner. This is the parent trap, basically. This is a story that the parent trap was based on. I think in English, you guys have it as the parent trap. I think this is called the parent trap. Um, if you translate this, this means like the two Lotties, because one girl is Lottie, the other is Louise. And um, we just call it the two Lotties. So this is the first book that I read when I was a kid. And then, like, my mom read this to me when I was, like, five or six, or kind of very, very young. She read the whole book to me, but when I got a little bit older, I don't know, I just think we were supposed to read this for school, and I just got really, really very into this, and I was so excited to be reading alone. I felt such a grown-up or whatever. And, you know, I was just really excited to go through this alone. And of course it has pictures, because it does. This is their dad, and these are the two girls, and... Yeah, Louise is dead, but then of course it turns out it's both their dads. So, both girls' dad. So, this is just very cute. And of course, like, these books were a craze in Hungary when I was a small child. Like, the dotted ones, the dotted books. They were for girls, like little girls. Yeah, you know, children, but mostly girls, I think. So yeah, this was the book that got me into reading. This was the first one, and from this on, I just never stopped, honestly. Yeah. Okay, number six is, what questions would you ask your favorite booktubers? Honestly, the only thing I would ask them is, how ever do you read so much? Like. What do you do to read so much? Or how do you read? I, I mean, I don't get it. Some people read like 12 books a month and not audiobooks like I would because I'm, I'm just really into audio. But I mean, I read, of course, like physically read, but you know, it's just so much easier, especially at work. I usually read online at work as well, but it's a little bit tiring on my eyes. But anyways, I'm just getting distracted, which is kind of a thing for me, I guess. So I would only ask my favorite booktubers, how ever do they read so much? Like, how do they read like 12 books or 20 books a month? It's just amazing. And of course, remembering everything, it's also crazy. So that's what I would ask. Okay, moving on to number seven. What challenges do you think starting a booktube channel will be the hardest to overcome? Um, honestly, and of course, since we are talking honest here, um, the hardest thing for me will be to schedule my videos, like to, to keep to a schedule and find time to film them. Because, you know, I love to read and I have time to read at work. And um, of course, I read a lot, but to make videos, to sit down and, and um, be everything quiet and ready for me. In, in my household, I live with my husband and my mom and we have two dogs and they go crazy. So I think the biggest challenge will be to honestly, to find time to sit down quietly and calmly <laughs> and, and make the videos. But I think I'll, I'll manage. It's just something that I think is challenging for me a little bit. Moving on to number eight is when did you start reading? I started reading, of course, this one, when I was eight or nine years old. That would be third grade in Hungary. So that was when I started reading. It was this one that started everything, and it was in third grade. So, yeah. Okay, number nine is where do you read? Then insert clips here. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
And other than those places, I basically read everywhere, or at least I try to read everywhere. Um, and also when I'm running errands, if I have to wait like in line in the post office or the bank or the pharmacy or anything like that, or the doctor's office, unfortunately, that is something where they make you wait a lot, I would read there. So basically I try to read everywhere. Of course, I carry a book about me, with me, everywhere I go. So just everywhere whenever I have free time, that is. We are already in the end. We are at number 10 and it is, what kind of books do you like to read? Wow, I can actually show some of them to you. So I love reading classics, classics are my thing. Well, these here are my classic books, like this bookshelf. And then up until almost to the ceiling, let me try to show it to you like, Yes, yeah, so those are my pink. Oh, whoa. Those are my penguin classics. And then those are my Agatha Christie's. And then we're moving down. And these are also penguin books until we go to Shakespeare, Jane Austen, Bronte Sisters, Charles Dickens, all that kind of good stuff. And then the more modern classics like Catch 22 or Steinbeck, or I don't know what else. We have um, In Cold Blood. We have um, Emily Dickinson's poems there. We have The Virgin Suicides. I have Rebecca usually here, but I, it's kind of missing now because I am rereading it. Um, Hemingway I have here, so yeah, I have more of the a little bit, you know, modern or classics here, if that makes sense. And what I also like to read are kind of here, like this bookshelf. It's like female written mystery thrillers, like I have the Gillian O'Flynn books. I have uh, Paula Hawkins there. Um, I have The Woman in the Window, I Cannot Wait. I have Ruth Ware, I think here. Where, are, yeah, I have the, my Ruth Ware books. Um, I loved uh, where'd you go Bernadette which was such a fun it's more like a little bit of a mystery like you know where did she go but I loved that that was so great and um, yeah the luckiest girl alive I loved by Jessica Knoll Knoll sorry I don't know exactly how to say that and I love biographies I love biographies as well I loved wild that was my favorite book I loved E pray love the more classic ones like you know, Mary Antoinette books about her life. I love the Antonia Fraser one. I have several others. I have a Queen Sissi, who was our queen in Hungary and also Austria's queen at the time. I love the book about her life. I have a Napoleon one I've yet to read. I have a Chanel, Coco Chanel, a biography I want to read. So I love all those kind of things, of course. And then the final um, genre that I am really, really in love with is cozy mysteries. I don't have those here because those are in a different room, but I love Agatha Raisin. Agatha Raisin, oh my God. You know what I just learned, because I don't know, I'm just living under a rock, that unfortunately the author of those books has passed last year. I'm so sorry, because I just loved her work so, so much and those are so crazy good and um, of course she has the Hamish Macbeth stories which are kind of similar to the Agatha Raisin so I think I will get to those as well and I also love Hannah Swenson books like the Hannah Swenson mysteries because she bakes cookies and you know fights crime <laughs> or at least trying to find killers which is always fun so I like that of course Agatha Christie yeah, so Agatha Raisin, Agatha Christie, all the Agathas I love. Freeze. And of course I love Stephen King. I haven't even said that I love Stephen King. And then also one book that I'm just getting into is Nest by Terry Goodkind. I hope I am saying that right. This uh, seems to be very interesting. I'm just not that far ahead in it, but so far, page 40-ish, I think it's, it's very interesting so far. So I kind of like scary books as well. I think those are fun. <laughs> Yay. So yeah, these are my favorite type of books to read. Basically, these were all of the questions of the newbie tag. I hope you like this video. I hope you like me. 
I hope we can hang out together more to talk about books. I hope you like this video. Please subscribe to my channel and like it if you like the video at all. And then until the next one, let's just read something together, okay? All right then, bye-bye.